Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatofu Boyfriend. Last we left off, we had just finished up uh, Sakuya La Belle Shirogane's path through this game. Today, we're going to be pursuing someone else. I mean, I could always, I suppose, repeat the exact same playthrough over and over again, but I don't think that that would be terribly entertaining for any of you. Yes, once again, we are going with the default, and we may as well include the human portraits. Because why not? Configurations are saved, and once again, we are not going to fulfill the promise. Not this time. I promise! We will eventually. Anyway, once again, we are going to skip through this beginning uh, section of the game, because uh, I really don't think you want to hear me narrate it a second time. Or, if you do, fortunately I have it already recorded for you, so there you go. And once again, the beginning of this is the same up until the very first choice you actually make. Um, but once again, good look at all of these different characters. This truly really is a game about the branching paths based on the choices that you make. And telling a story through each incarnation, which is why I'm bothering to do more than just the first playthrough. Ah. So I'm going to give a hint about who I'm going to be romancing this time through. Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not? A morning dove stands on the dark corner, in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? <laughs> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were just a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He suddenly returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Tosaka Hyoko, a sophomore. What about you? Y y your Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Ah. Uh, yep. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Once again, a bit redundant to repeat itself there. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Sorry for the adjustment of the microphone. Did he just, like, pop up and down there? Anyway. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay. Sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Alright, so once again, we're going back to the skip function. <clears throat> I figured it was important to help establish what may be going on on this playthrough. Pardon for once again sipping whilst recording. But in a game where, well, I'm making most of the dialogue myself... Eh, Probably should keep that well hydrated. Now, of course, I'm talking about all of this while all of this is uh, playing through. You can see how long this takes, even when you're freaking skipping through it. <clears throat> Thank goodness for the skip feature. Unfortunately, obviously, this can get a little repetitive. Yeah, I think they are sticking a little bit on the screen whenever they pop up. Yeah, anyway. Random! And we get to choose the class council. Skip, skip, skip. Because again, it's the same thing every time. Blah, blah, blah. What should I do? What should Hyoko do? Well, this time, we're going to join the library staff. Probably surprising no one. And yes, that is everyone. Thank you.
Today is an elective day. What should I do? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, let's attend math class. Maybe we can actually try to have our, our score not be absolute shit today? This time? I don't know. Maybe it'd be nice if, if Hyoko doesn't fail all of her tests this semester. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry! That was a terrible read, Lindsay. You should feel ashamed. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It is a very small-looking library. It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Dot, dot, dot. There's no birdie, he no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Uh, Nageki? When did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Um... No. Books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nageki? You can read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. Touché? You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Hmm. Sitting at home, and once again... Eh. Talk to... Eh, well, let's talk with Sakia. Just for old time's sake. Unacceptable. In a temper as usual. Why? Alright. But we've already seen this. We saw it very recently. Today's an elective day. Well, let's continue attending math class. I really think that's our best bet right now. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, Tasaka. Yes, sir. Hyoko leveled up! You know, I can just picture her, like, whenever that happens, actually narrating, like, at the end of class, she slams her book down and goes, Hyoko leveled up! Uh, uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. And once again, we've already seen all of this, and we don't even get to make the choice in this scene as to what we're going to do. Blah, blah, blah. Today's the sports festival! I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... You know what, we've already spent quite a bit of time outside at the sports festival. Let's go to the library. Come on, microphone, stay in place, please. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? Nobody's in here today. It's not on. Uh. It's you, Nageki! It's you, Miss Tosaka. Whoa! He called me by my name! They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Nageki? Aren't you? Eep! I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. Why are you sitting next to me? Do you mind? Not really. Uh, um, listen, 
Our class president got duped into being a cheerleader, and... S sorry No. Keep going. And so I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind. I think? Hmm. Maybe he's more invested in what other people are doing than he lets on. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. Tasaka! Yes! You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And <laughs> Mr. Naraki seems happy with me too. Yay! Uh, yay! We're no longer completely failing his class. Or math in general. Hmm. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Hmm. You know what? Let's go to the infirmary. This is probably the dumbest idea we've ever had. You again. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... skip class. I wanted to skip class. Get out. Kicked out at the speed of light. I should probably take my school life more seriously. <clears throat> y yes, well. <clears throat> Today's an elective day. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm taking it pretty seriously. Look at that wisdom score. That's not too bad. I'm getting awfully squeaky. Alright, let's continue with math class. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. People taking naps. <coughs> is this math class or nap time? Hyoko leveled up! Wisdom increased by five! <laughs> I'm not gonna get that picture out of my head now. Just her announcing it every time. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there are lots here already. Anybody I know? <laughs> Once again, Sakuya. Ah, and Kazuaki is on there as well. Nanaki. <laughs> what should I wish for? Let's see. Ah, well, may as well rule the world from the shadows. I wish to take on the rain, take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, hello. Is that you, Tosaka? Uh, Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, well, don't stay out too late. Blah, blah. Okay, I should not blah, blah. It's, there is a lot of repetitiveness to this. Today is an elective day! We just had an elective day, and look at that boost to my wisdom score. You know what, I may as well take one music class. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? Hyoko leveled up. Charisma increased by five! That is impossible. I do not believe that your charisma could actually increase simply by hitting on the timpani. I'm just saying. I'm sure Saki would have something to say about her announcing that. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Tazaka, he flew in from like, yeah. Well, I mean, he's a bird. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir! Success! Ta-da! Ta-da! <sighs> Come on, stupid Mike. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short, and but either way, it's really repetitive. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. 
Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer birds in here than usual. Am I the only one? Huh, that just makes my job easier. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nage? Please be quiet in the library. Hello! You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope! I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. He replies from his corner, in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh! The book he's holding! That's assigned reading this summer. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It is pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about... I'm pretty sure both of these... This one's actually a book. I think this one's just a pun. Ore Hato. Because again, Hato is another word for uh, well, pigeon slash dove. I'm going to recommend Night on the Galactic Railroad. What about Night on the Galactic Railroad? I liked it. Too stereotypical. Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. Though, I liked it, too. And so I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with Nageki. Time flows slowly by. This sort of thing is nice, too. Ah, it's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Like I said, you know, she does this every summer, does her little tour of the city, and uh, gets herself really out of where her safe zone is. Um, but obviously this summer is not going to be very focused on Nageki. So we're not even going to bother with the Turima Cafe, and I'm just going to skip this. Because again, we've seen it. At least a couple of times now, actually. And we've even seen how her story plays out. <clears throat> a very sweet story, I think. But, uh, yeah. Now this is, um... It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job? Now, you know, we should probably actually focus on the homework, so, you know, forget it. I ain't doing the Tarimi Cafe this year. Hmm, I think I'll wait till I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures... I can skip lectures to go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. Whee! Today's a local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Well, let's see. Who can we possibly invite? Well, Nageki, of course. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. But I don't know his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to learn more about him, though he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Ah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Ah, she's not even going to try. Which is a shame. I'm sure he would have loved to actually go to the festival. Today is my day as receptionist. There's nobody here, as usual. Maybe I should work on the newspaper. Seems like we skipped something here. Nageki? Yes. Do you have a minute? What is it? Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Want to write a book review? I'm working on the library newspaper, and there's a corner open, so I thought... Can't you write one yourself? I'm always writing them. We never get submissions, so the book reviews are just turning in our pers turning into our personal soapbox. Learn to read. 
Perhaps it would be better to remove them from the paper. My thoughts exactly. I'd like to see how you'd write one, though. It doesn't have to be very long, either. I'll write one later. Leave the paper there. Yay! Thank you! I think that's everything for the September issue. Whee! Ah! And here we come to the end of another installment of Let's Play, Hatoful Boyfriend. But I hope to see you next time where we will likely see the conclusion of this particular tale. Bird tail. <laughs> hope to see you then.